Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20, and welcome to episode 19 of Direwolf20's Satisfactory Let's Play series, uh, where today uh, I kicked off a little bit of research in between episodes to inflate my pocket dimension. Hooray, plus six inventory slots, because look how full my inventory is. I've got so much junk on me, I couldn't even tell you. Uh, and, I'm, and I'm loading up on some extra steel beams. I might borrow some extras here. Yeah, it might not be a terrible idea. I like, I like to have a lot of steel beams, because as you guys are aware, those are used for conveyor belts and lots of other things. Um, I really need to amp up my steel production at some point, uh, but I don't want to do that today. Today I want to get into something new, which is the whole tier 5 and 6 oil processing bit. Um, but soon I'm going to use the, the steel recipe that I got from the hard drive to increase the production of steel and, and ramp that up. And then as we get more steel per minute, then what I can do is um, turn this guy into a steel beam producer. Uh, and probably that would be cool. That's kind of what I'm thinking. We'll see if it works out. We'll find out. Um, so for today, like I said, uh, I want to do a little exploration and find my way towards some crude oil. Um, so last episode we unlocked tiers 5 and 6, we also unlocked oil processing, which gave us access to a few things. Uh, specifically we got the oil extractor, which will extract oil out of the ground for us. Uh, we got uh, the refinery, which will refine oil into plastics and rubber, uh, and fuel for that matter. Uh, now the nearest oil fields are about 2,000 meters away, so we have a long ways to go. Uh, it might not be a bad idea to start playing around with that explorer that we got last episode. Ba -ba -boom. Now, do I still have coal in my inventory? That's a good question. I should probably, I should probably grab some coal before we go out exploring in our explorer vehicle, um, because coal's gonna last a lot longer than uh, than wood in there, and uh, that would just be smart. So I'm just gonna go borrow some coal from one of these guys over here. You know what? I can borrow him from right here. Ta-da, coal. Now I can rebuild my explorer. And uh, what I probably want to do... Let's uh, just face him this way. And we'll open up the uh, vehicle doohickey here. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Throw some coal in there. And we're ready to go exploring. Nice. So we're going to do a couple things today. We're going we're gonna to explore out in this general direction, because I think I have a rough idea of remembering about where to head in order to get that oil. But also we get to explore a couple new biomes today and uh, find our way towards oil. Now what we are also going to have to do, you know what, I'm debating, do I want to... So the alternate method here, because I do want to run power out to my, to my doohickey. Let's see. Can I tap into that guy up there? Maybe not as easily as I would hope. But I do want to run power out to the to the coal area. So maybe I don't want to drive out there the first time. Maybe what I want to do is run power lines out there so that we already have the power running out. Does that sound like a plan? And then to get our resources to and from the oil, I'm, I'm debating whether or not I'm going to want uh, to use the train system or to use tractors and trucks. But we'll see. We'll play that all by ear. I'll probably wind up using tractors and trucks. I'm not sure. So, quickly gonna run out the power lines to wherever we're headed. Now remember, this is the hard drive that we've already accessed and, and discovered, so that's cool beans. Hey, it's a lizard doggo. Awesome. So remember, we did come out this way once before. Remember, we kind of wandered out in this direction. We didn't go too deep into this area, but there's a whole, a whole biome out here to check out, which is pretty neat. And remember, we uh, we did need to use our uh, explosives to get through here. Remember the uh, the rocks we blew up? It was like two or three episodes ago, was it? I forget. Not that long ago, but, you know. Now, yeah, that should be fine. I wanna, I, if, if I'm gonna run the tractors and trucks along this road here, we wanna make sure that the conveyor poles aren't kinda like two in the middle-ish of the road so that they don't have any kind of problem. But let's see what we can explore out in this area. 
Because there's a lot of this planet we haven't seen yet. And I think this is like a fungi kind of forest area. Yeah. Oh, look, one of those nasty dudes. Hello, sir. Yeah, I know. Damage to fix it property detected. They sound so concerned, don't they? They're like, oh no, my property. Alright. Looking good. Hey, a slug. Don't mind if I do. Always grab these things whenever you find them. Because they're pretty rare. They're pretty useful. That's about all I can say about that. So let's reping for oil and see where we're at in regards to the proximity to oil. I want to say it's off in that direction-ish. That was close. Yeah, right off in that general direction. So not too far. We're a little bit more than halfway there, which is awesome. Um, so let's see. By the way, these... Um, these fungi trees you can cut down with your chainsaw. Let's see that real quick. I think you can at least. Some of them you can. Which ones are they that you can cut down? These guys. That's right, my inventory is really full, isn't it? Yeah. Wow, look how full my inventory really is. Well, you get the idea. You know what we could do to free up a little bit of inventory space? Real quick craft that slug we got into a power shard. There you go. Nice. Now I'll be uh, I'll be clearing up some inventory space soon because I brought a ton of resources, right? Like lots of motors, lots of rotors, lots of stuff. Because I know we're going to be building a lot of machines and buildings out here. So I wanted to be prepared. Right. Okay, I want to say over there. Oh, nope, one there, and yeah, one there. Okay, cool. Beautiful. Oh, that's a jump I can make. I can make it. Didn't hurt that bad. What do I hear? Bad guys. Am I crazy or do I hear bad guys? Ah! What's damaging me? Was that. Oh, yeah, a little poison gas going on. Eh, not the end of the world. You know what's great to find in this biome, by the way? This bacon agaric. Remember, we found a little bit of it in the past, but you'll find it all over this mushroom biome type place. And it's so foggy here. Oh boy, one of the green spitters. He's guarding a Mercer Sphere. Ow, ow. Ouch. He really hurts. Huge amount of knockback. Got him. See, another Mercer Sphere. Weird. I'm not gonna. Well, I strongly advise you to harvest this specimen. I saw one of the comments on the video was interesting. They uh, they don't so much think that uh, like the Mercer Sphere is hacking my my visor or my helmet to to trick Ada into saying that. They think it's like a telepathy thing where it's like. Uh, and I'm like, that could work. I can see that. It's like a telepathy type thing, like the, the Mercer Sphere recognizes that the player does what Ada says. So it's not even Ada's really talking. It's just literally telepathy tricking you into thinking you heard that. That's kind of cool. I like that theory. Gotcha. I'm just going to build a little foundation here real quick. Just 
just so I could inch my way into here. Well, I was gonna do that. I think my inventory being full is causing this thing not to break in like an area of an effect kind of area. Alright, let's see. Or, actually, I don't know. Because I do have one inventory spot, so I don't know what the deal is with that. But, there we go, power slug. Sweet. And we'll power shard that guy up. Okay, I think we're really close now to where the oil fields will be. And ooh, there's a hard drive over here too. Sweet. Some more bacon agar. More of these little bug dudes, which I hate, by the way. Though I've gotten a lot better at killing them. The trick is to not get too close to more than one at a time. And I mean more than one nest at a time. Because if you just run in there, you're going to hit multiple nests. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Now the bugs do like, they're weird. When when they hit you once, they kind of like fall to the ground. Uh, and get, I don't know, like dizzy-ish for a sec. See, like that. And don't forget to grab these carapace things if you want them. There you go. Nice. I'm definitely going to check out this hard drive, too, while I'm here. Got him. Alright, what's the hard drive need to open up? What do we got around here? Screws and a couple other things. Ooh, computers. Don't mind if I do. Computers are a lot of work to craft. And 21 of them at that. Reinforced iron plate. Encased industrial beams. Yeah, well, I got 300 of them. I'm not going to snag those, I don't think. Like I said, you can get some really good stuff. Uh, repairs needed. Needs four rubber. Well, guess who has zero rubber? Your buddy Dyer. That's who. That's who has zero rubber. Dire Wolf 20. Um... Inventory so full. You know what we can do though real soon? We can solve that problem with building the Explorer. And putting the coal in it, and then boom, suddenly I have four inventory slots. Nice. All right, so if my memory serves correctly, and a quick scan to confirm, oil should be right up there. And another one over there. Oh boy, spiders. Spiders are bad. These are the little spiders, too. There's worse spiders. And grabbing any and all food I can while I can. Oh look, my health's actually pretty low. There you go. That frees up an inventory slot, too. Alright, feeling better. Is that another spider up there? Nice. Another slug. A quick craft bench. Make that happen. Don't forget there's also a craft bench in the back of your explorer, but meh. It's quick enough to build and, you know, destroy those things. Alright, so oil should be up here-ish. I just remember that, like, there's a big lake in this biome, and, like, you go around this edge of the lake here, and then the, the oil's towards the top of this area. 
And these are the oil fields, by the way. Oh boy. It's a red spitter. Have we have we encountered these guys before? I'm trying to remember. See what they do? Ow. And spiders, bigger spiders. Gotcha. The red spitters are nasty. Gotcha. Nice. Quite a few uh, slugs in this little area, huh? Uh, almost made it. Uh, almost made it. Don't mind if I do. And then I'll show you guys what the oil fields look like in a moment here. Let me just snag these guys. So, these are your oil fields. Right here. These two. Got it? Crude oil pure. And just like um, iron and coal and all that stuff, uh, there, there's different tiers of node. Right? So these are two pure nodes right here. Now, is that a yellow slug up there? Because that would be cool. Sometimes hard to tell, especially in like a shaded environment, but now it's green. So actually quite a bit of oil around here. Um, Nice. Quite a bit of power slugs, too. Alright, so we ran coal over already, which is a smart move on our part. So we've got plenty of coal ready to go. Uh, we're probably going to want some foundations to lay out here. What my plan is, is to start pumping up the oil out of the oil fields, and then convert them, using refineries, into plastic and, uh, and, and rubber. And then we can ship that back to our main base courtesy of a truck or a tractor. It's probably probably what I'm thinking. Doesn't sound like a good plan? I'm just checking out, scoping out this little area here to make sure I didn't miss anything. Oh, there's another slug up there. Holy cow. Slugs for days, let me tell you. Let's see. How that looks. Nice. All right, cool. Let's come back in a moment and we'll get ready to build out uh, that whole setup. So be right back. So these uh, big spires, by the way, I'm pretty sure are chain -sawable. The nice. mycelia within this fungus suggests strong molecular bonding features frequently observed in adhesives and medicine, both beneficial for field research. A new research tree can now be accessed in the MAM. Right? Told you there were some cool trees you could cut down in this biome that were new. That's what's up. Uh, so speaking of, let's let's pop open the mam real quick and see what kind of research tree we got. Um, that gave us access to uh, mycelia. Neat. So we can turn that into biomass, but there's other things we can use this mycelia for. Um, we can, if I take these out of my inventory here and go to mycelia we can research medical properties cool and that gives me yet another way to craft the medicinal inhalers um which yeah, i'm gonna hold off on for now uh we can also get fabric if we have a hundred biomass on us which i can real quick make uh with the mob drops that i've gotten right not enough inventory space. Let's just put this back in our thing here. Like that. Uh, what do, what's this thing? Chainsaw. Oh, right. Um, what else do I have that I can get rid of? You know, I can craft my power shards real fast. And we can get 100 biomass, no problem. And that should be cool. So this fabric is neat. You can use it to make parachutes. 
How cool is that? Um, and what you can do is, like, they're neat. They're not, like, earth-shatteringly amazing. They're parachutes, right? So, like, if you're up on top of a tall mountain and you wanted to jump down, you could do it and pull out the chute, and it would let you glide slowly down to the ground, which is nice. Cool. FYI, there is another bit of oil right over here. In addition to the two oils over here. I told you there's a ton of oil in this location, right? So there's these two pure nodes, okay? <clears throat> um, there's a couple more here, right? Um, and then there's more over there. So there's just tons of oil in this immediate spot, which is why I like to come out to this area for oil. See, uh, another two there. Ow. I think the greens are the worst ones. I'm pretty sure they're the most dangerous. They have that massive knockback amount. Like, massive. And you get three alien organs from it, which I think is a good indication that they're the most difficult ones. But yeah, here's another pure node. Here's a normal node. So like, just like I said, lots and lots and lots and lots of oil in this immediate location. All right, let's get into building an oil pump because they are a good time. I just want to kind of clear all the mobs around this area before we do too much else. I want to just clear it out. So I'll come back after I fight these little annoying creatures. So I'm thinking about how I want to do this, but I think I want to have a nice platform kind of running out in this direction kind of deal. How's that sound? Does that sound like a terrible idea? And then what we could have, because we've got a couple oil pumps down there, and then we've got the two there, so I think it's two, two, and two for a total of six. That sound about right? I think so. Um, yeah, I like that. So let's get our oil extractors up and running first and we'll see how that works, right? So as you can see, just like with, with miners, oil extractors can only sit on top of uh, the vein, that they, uh, the veins that exist in the world. And just like with water transport, we're gonna need to pump the oil via uh, via via tubes okay these guys uh so let's check that out so this will produce 240 cubic meters of oil per minute for a tier one oil extractor remember that uh if we take a look at these guys right um we go to the logistics tab and we check out pipes they can only do 300 meters cube per minute so we don't want to combine these two because that would be greater than 300, right? So each one of these needs its own dedicated line to feed into stuff. And we're gonna have to figure out how we wanna refine this oil in an intelligible way, right? So I'm gonna make sure that we bring these up in a smart kind of manner. We're going to have you here, ready to connect to you and you and that should get our oil up and running so our oil pipeline is now cooking look at it beautiful we're producing all the crude oils nice and these guys are going to fill up real fast and then once they're full these will fill up and back stuff and let's keep an eye on our power by the way uh obviously we just went from consuming 640 to uh yeah 720 so it's a it's a decent amount of power usage going on here decent amount of power usage where does it tell me yeah 40 megawatts of power each extractor so yeah it's a little expensive keep that in mind so now let's do refineries shall we so let's look at our first kind of refining that we can do here and we're going to want to think about how this is going to get laid out but we'll kind of plan it out let's figure out how much of what we want to make um because first off, we're going to get, we're going to want rubber and plastic, right? 
So plastic can be made with crude oil. It'll make you 20 plastic per minute for 30 crude oil per minute. So think about that. We're making 240 back there. So that's eight refineries per pump. It's a lot. It's a lot. Um, which is cool. Which is cool. It's a lot. Um, and then we'll get some plastic and we'll get heavy oil residue, which is a liquid output. And that heavy oil residue, um, let's see, polymer resin. I'm trying to remember what the process is here. Residual fuel. Heavy oil residue can turn into fuel directly. So that's cool. And then we can, I don't think we have access to um, stuff yet. Let's see, residual plastic, polymer resin. Polymer resin comes from fuel, comes from the fuel recipe, which is this. This is where you get polymer resin from. Hmm. And residual fuel, heavy oil residue. So for now, there's a couple things we could do, right? Um, how about this? Petroleum coke. That's another option. Petroleum coke. Yeah. Uh, so you can turn heavy oil residue into petroleum coke. And then you can pump your petroleum coke into coal power plants and get you more power. So what we can do here is we can we can process our oil into plastic, which will give us heavy oil residue, uh, and rubber, which will give us heavy oil residue as a side effect. Then we can turn that heavy oil residue into petroleum coke and feed that into power plants. Now, couple notes. In previous versions, you'd want to be careful about your petroleum coke because coal power plants would fluctuate their energy usage depending on the needs of your base. That's no longer the case. So as long as you build enough coal power plants to eat up all the petroleum coke, you should be cool. Um, so we should be cool. The other thing you can do with this, obviously, is feed it into the awesome sink if you wanted to. So you could just sink your petroleum coke. But why would you do that, right? We could always use more power. Could always use more power. Now I'm trying to think right now. Do we have enough um, enough space here? Because the other option we could do for the refineries, and this might be the better route for design, would be to do something like this. Right? Because then what we could do is something like this. And that might be cool. Right? And then we have a long expanse right, to do this with. Now, as you'll note, you need a lot of motors. You need 10 motors per uh, refinery. So it's a good thing we brought a handful of motors with us. But we're actually already... Not quite enough motors. You need a lot of these resources. Look at all the resources you need to build per refinery. Um, so we'll probably want to start with maybe four each. Does that sound about right? That could be cool. Should have brought more motors with me. And what we could do is we could do we could do rubber on one side and plastic on the other. Right? So like this could be all plastics. This could be all rubbers. And rubber, by the way, being 30 per minute, plastic being 30 per minute. Right? Uh, so you could literally have... Oop. Four of each going, and that would use one of these oil dudes, right? 30 times 8 is 240, and you're making 240. That is a lot of refining. Uh, how much power do the refiners use is a really good question. They use 30 megawatts each. So this is going to be a big power draw, right? It's going to be 240 megawatts of power draw, which at this point, I think we could handle if we're at max consumption. 
Um, but we'd be getting close, right? Now let's real quick math how many refineries we need for petroleum coke, remember? Because we're gonna get heavy oil residue, 10 per minute from plastic. So that's 10, 20, 30, 40, right? And then we get 20 residue from rubber. So that's 80 plus 40 is 120, right? Now, if we're doing a refinery for petroleum coke, it's 40 per minute makes 120 petroleum coke per minute. So we would need three refineries dedicated to making petroleum coke, right? So we're definitely gonna need more refineries. We're gonna need three more refineries, which we just barely have the resources to make while we're here. Um, now, part of me is wondering, part of me is wondering, um, and I'm also wondering, like, which one of these resources we're going to need more of. I feel like in the past, we always needed more plastic than rubber. I feel like plastic was more useful than rubber last time I played in Update 3, but now that Update 4 is out, that might have changed. So I want to, I want to be prepared, right? Um... Now, if we're going to do petroleum coke, which we're going to do, right? And let's also just make sure I can fit an oil extractor under here. Yeah, I think we've got plenty of room if I'm building this platform up here, right? Um, where should I, pray tell, build my... So you're going to pipe that out. You're going to pipe it out this way. Oh, look, there's a summer sloop back there. Uh, let's see where should because I want to I want to be able to expand these out right so we might want to have like four more and four more eventually for the other 240 that we have available over there um, and then what we're probably gonna want to do is have these two and those two dedicated to fuel production and we'll probably have fuel power over in that generalish area um, where should I build out my coal power plants maybe over the water maybe a little bit that might not be a terrible idea. Might not be a terrible idea. So what we could have is... Something like this. For the three refineries that we're going to need. And you guys could all be your petroleum coke. And the math works out pretty well that way, right? Because remember, it's uh, the, the residue is going to be 40 here, 80 from that line, so 120. And then we have three sets of 40 per minute will be 120. So we'll be using exactly the same amount of residual fuel as we're producing, which will be awesome. Uh, we'll be making 360 petroleum coke per minute. And then we just have to figure out how much petroleum coke like gets used per minute inside of a uh, coal power plant. And then we could have power plants maybe off over here. That might not be a terrible idea. Uh, and water pumping up. I like that plan. What do you guys think? I'll tell you what I think though. I think it's wrap it up point for the episode. Um, so this is a good setup, right? We'll be able to expand these out this way as needed, right? Now, the only thing to consider here is should I rotate these so that the output is facing that way? Because we do want their outputs to go that way. Um, but we could also loop it underneath, right? Like we could have the outputs go under the ground there and that would be kind of cool. Can I put, can I put logistics pipeline supports underneath invalid aim location uh, it would be so cool if you could hang it underneath that would be so cool wouldn't it though wouldn't it though i wonder if the uh awesome shop has anything for that missing 200 screws really come on buddy ain't nobody carries screws around nobody carrying screws around a lot of screws. Anyway, let's wrap up the episode here. I'll check that out between episodes, see if there's anything in the awesome shop that would allow us to hang 
pipe supports from underground. It would be neat if I could loop the the residual fuel from these guys underneath the platform and then bring it up on the other side. But if I can't, I can't, and that's okay. For now, wrapping up point. Double 20 signing off. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. We will come back next time and uh, explore more of uh, this area, get the refineries up and running, get the coal power plants up and running. We'll probably have to make a run back to our base for more resources, but I think we'll be good. And then we also want to set up a, a tractor thingy so that we can get the oil and fuel to and from our base. Now there's two resources out here, not just one. So we're gonna to wanna to consider what'll happen if we start backstuffing resources, right? Um, because if, if, if we don't use as much rubber as we are plastic, we're gonna eventually hit a point where our truck just fills up with rubber and that's gonna be bad. Um, so we're gonna to have to either awesome sink it or do something, but we'll figure that out next episode. Uh, like I said, for now, Devil 20 signing off. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Let's see, attachments, pipeline wall attachment. That might be cool. Pipeline hole for the walls. Yeah, we'll see. But that's for walls. So I think that goes like on the side, but we'll check it out. All right, guys. Uh, for now, take it easy.